Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the MIM-23 Hawk surface-to-air missiles. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. First combat use with the Israelis. The Hawk surface-to-air missiles was first introduced by the United States military and is one of the first radar-guided missile systems in the world. However, the United States, even though they're the first operators and the first ones to deploy these missiles, they're actually not the first ones to use it in combat. In fact, the Americans have very little combat experience with the Hawk missiles. The first use of the Hawk missiles in combat situations was actually in Israel. The Israelis deployed a battery of the Hawk missiles and was able to successfully use it during the Six Day War with Egypt. And also, the United States deployed the Hawk missiles during Operation Desert Storm, but actually never used it either. They deployed it in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, but did not see any combat use. And so the title of the first combat use and the first attack of the Hawk missiles goes to the Israeli military. Our fact two, up to 65,000 feet. The Hawk missiles have a pretty high altitude range. It is designed to travel up to 65,000 feet. And the Israelis, who obtained these missiles and modified them, made them able to go up to 79,000 feet. These missiles are incredibly powerful in the sense that they could climb so high. You have to remember, this is a missile system from the 1960s. At that time, most missiles are using solid fuel. And in fact, the Hawk has also used solid fuel as its propellant. As you may know, the current modern rocket technologies all use liquid fuel. And so for the Hawk to use solid fuel and being from the 1960s, able to attack targets up to 65,000 feet is not a small accomplishment. And also the fact that it's coupled with radar guidance makes it one of the most precise rockets at the time. Of course, the Hawk missile is no longer used by the U.S. military and it was replaced by the Patriot missile system. It is still actually used worldwide by many operators who believe that it is still good enough to operate and take down air targets. Alright, fact 3. Radar component. As I mentioned in the previous sections, the Hawk missile system is one of the first ones to use a radar system in order to track and hit a target. The Hawk missile, the original one, used four or sometimes six radars to detect, to track, to engage targets. As the system gets upgraded and new radar technology gets deployed, they continue to iterate, and the improved versions started using much higher resolution radars. These include the improved Hawk, the MPQ-50, and they also evolved into the MQ-64 Sentinel. In addition, continuous wave acquisition radar was also introduced, and this X-band continuous wave system is used to detect targets and comes with its own mobile trailer. It acquired targets through 360 degrees of range while providing the target speed and raw range data. The early MPQ-64 high power illuminator radar has two large dish type antennas side by side, one to transmit and one to receive. They automatically acquire and track designated target, elevation, and range, making it extremely precise for the rockets in order to hit them. The radar systems continue to improve and refine the targeting system of the Hawk missiles. Let's get into fact 4, used against its own creator. As I mentioned in the previous sections, the United States deployed the Hawk missile system during Operation Desert Storm. Operation Desert Storm was used to liberate Kuwait due to an Iraqi invasion. And as a result, the Iraqi military actually captured Hawk batteries from Kuwait. And they were able to learn how to operate them and use them against the US military. Despite this counter usage of its own devices, Fortunately, the United States never saw any its own aircraft being destroyed by the Hawk missile. It was still a very dangerous situation 
because the Iraqis had what was then one of the latest modern surface-to-air missile technologies, and the United States was flying planes around the skies over there and could have been attacked by the Hawk missile. During this time, the Kuwaiti military was able to use the U.S. Hawk anti-aircraft missile system to take down about 22 Iraqi aircraft and one combat helicopter. This showed that the Hawk missile system is extremely effective and is a huge deterrent against incoming aircraft. As I mentioned, the Iraqis did capture them and attempted to use it against the United States itself. However, they were not successful and they never really downed any U.S. aircraft. Alright, let's get into the next and final fact. $250,000 per missile. The Hawk missile system is not a cheap system. Each battery is usually composed of 4 missiles and each missile costing $250,000. And therefore, one battery is easily $1 million US dollars. And remember, this was a long back. This was 30-40 years ago. So you can imagine how much it cost back then for operators to acquire this missile system. And this is just the missiles. Remember, this is a multi-part system that requires radar guidance in order to illuminate track targets. And the radar systems themselves are also tens of millions of dollars. For a military to acquire the entire system with rocket, batteries, and radar systems is usually up to about 30 million dollars. And so this is not a small number and therefore at the time really only afforded to really wealthy countries. And so you could imagine in the previous section when the Iraqis got their hands on them they were probably pretty excited because they were able to capture a very expensive and advanced technology surface to air missile system. To this day, other countries are still operating, probably because of the sunk cost used to acquire them. Alright, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.